guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Karen. Today, I'm showing you how to go from drab to glam. This is my first time I've ever owned a wig ever, and I just feel so girly and glamorous. I call this my Kim K wig. Let me know who you think I look like with this hair. What name would I be? This video is sponsored by a brand that I'm partnering with. I can't disclose who they are yet because I want you guys to guess um, based on this packaging and the link in the description box below. So feel free to click that link to guess. And if you guys happen to have an Instagram, feel free to follow me at I'm Karen o. I am literally on there every single day, even if I'm not on here every single day. Anyway, if you guys wanna watch how I created this look, keep watching. I started using a sleeping mask to keep the hair out of my face while I'll do my makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop on these contacts. They are in the color lavender gold. Now that I have my contacts in, the first thing I'm gonna do is spray on the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. And this is a really great primer for your face before you put your makeup on. You want to protect your face from all the products you're putting on, and a primer is really great for that. First, I'm gonna start to fill in my brows. I'm gonna be using Cabrow by Benefit. Okay, so as you can tell, my brows are looking a little wild right now, but that's because I'm trying to grow them out and give myself the whole straight brow look again. Oh, and also ignore my nails, please. I know they're really gross. Girl got no time to get them fixed. While we're filling in my brows, make sure you're doing small little strokes in the way that your hair is growing. So as you can see, my brow hair is growing from here to down. And as you can see, I'm focusing the product on towards the end of my brow first because I want to create a gradient Starting off at the end of the brow is essential to me because I have no hairs back there. Take a look. All right, so now with whatever product is left on my brush, I'm not gonna go ahead and dip it into um, my pomade. I'm just going to use the leftover product and start to carve out the bottom of the front of the brow. And I'm just giving these really soft natural strokes following the natural curvature, or not curvature, the natural growth of my brow hairs. So these ones are growing upwards, so that's what, why I'm moving my brows in that way. So now that we got one brow done, I'm gonna go ahead and draw on the other one and I'll be right back. So the makeup look I'm doing today is actually from my Instagram. You guys were requesting to learn how to do this look with this purple eye, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus and I'm going to spray a couple spray onto my brush just so it's a little bit wet. So I'm gonna take this color called Gemstone by Anastasia Beverly Hills and with my wet brush, I'm going to pat the product onto my lids. Make sure you're patting instead of brushing it on because while your brush is still wet, you don't wanna kinda swipe, do this window, window swiping motion because it's definitely going to mess up the shadow. You want to pack the color so that it's the most intensified version of the eyeshadow using the super shock cheek color. It's called Homey by ColourPop. We're just gonna go ahead and blend out the product. I love using this brush for the crease because it has a sharper tapered blending tip and it really gives you this precise look. But I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is a mo modern renaissance palette. And using the color Burnt Orange, I just tapped literally a teensy tiny bit because this stuff is a very, very pigmented. I'm just going to focus it onto the outer corner of the crease, like right here, just to blend it even more to give it a little bit more of a gradient. This is literally one of my favorite tapered mini brushes. This is by Luxie 121. And I'm gonna go into this purple right here and it's a um, ABH color. It's called Enchanted Eyeshadow. We're gonna pick up this product with this really dense tapered blending brush. You're going to pat the product onto the outer corner of your eyes first, closest to your lash line. And then we're just going to go ahead and blend it out again in this very soft circular motion but we're only focusing the brush on the outer corner of your eye. So careful not to bring it too far in because we don't want to distract this really, really beautiful purple pink color. So next I'm gonna go ahead and line my upper lash line with 
the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner. I always like to start off my eyeliner with a brush tip and then top it off with the felt tip just because I feel like the brush tip, better control over it. It's just something that I'm better at using. Don't forget your lash line too. Now using the felt tip eyeliner by M Cosmetics. I love how dark and opaque this eyeliner is. I love layering it on top of the brush tip. So we got one wing down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, this next part is gonna take a little bit of skill, but with the right brush, it's going to be really easy. I'm going to outline my eyeliner with this really fun pigment from NARS. It's a silver pigment called Interstellar. So don't worry if you are drawing going onto your black eyeliner because you can always go back with the black eyeliner and fix that. So focus on the silver, make sure it looks good, and then worry about the black eyeliner later. And then you're also going to outline the bottom of your eyeliner. I'm gonna go back with my felt tip eyeliner and just fix any areas that needs to be fixed. For my bottom lash line, I'm going to line it with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, and this is in the color Plum. All right, now I'm gonna take the color Enchanted again with this flat brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto the outer corner of my lower lash line, and one, what this will do is set the cream that we just applied. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the other eye and I'll be right back. The eye makeup is basically there. We're just gonna pop on some lashes after this, but first, and the most important thing is concealer. I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. So now I'm gonna be using this, not a powder. I think they call it Wowder, and it's from a brand that I'm not supposed to say yet. I don't know if you guys can tell based on this non-branding, but I'm gonna be using this to set my face. If you can try to not bake just for a little bit, you'll notice your skin will do so much better. And even if you do decide to, you know, bake, don't leave it on your face for super long because just remember that your under eye area doesn't produce any natural oils. So by you baking it, you're literally sucking all of the juice out of your skin. Now notice how this side of my face is just so mattified and it looks so poreless and soft. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give my skin an even finish by applying it all over my face with my beauty blender. I love how fine this powder is. Although it says not a powder on the front. Go ahead and interchange between Dandelion and the color California. I'm gonna dust it all over my cheeks. Same goes for the other side. We got the cheeks down. We're gonna bronze my face just a little bit just to give it a little bit of warmth. And this is the Hula Light that I'm using. Next, I'm gonna pop on some lashes. So these lashes are Galici Glands lashes. Taking my favorite House of Lashes glue, I'm just going to apply that onto the band of these lashes. And I always lay it towards the center of my eye first. Then I pick up the ends and I match it to my lash line. Don't forget to squeeze the real ones and the fake ones together. Eyes are done. We're gonna do something a little bit fun. You guys have seen this probably on the internet already. I'm just gonna put some faux freckles on my face using this, the Cabrow gel that I use on my eyebrows. I'm just going to place my faux freckles. Feel free to use your fingers to kind of blend it out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how the freckles turned out. I wanna do a gradient lip, so I'm going to conceal my lips first with this concealer from IT Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna focus it onto my bottom lip though. Just remember you're starting from the center of your lips when you're doing this. And now just blend with your fingers. Oh my god. Guys, if you guys have a Maltese, what do you do with the tear stains like that? Oh, you're so cute, man. Ah, you're looking up my makeup off. I can't do that, dude. I spent hella time. So now that we got the first layer of red down, I'm gonna be using this NARS liquid lipstick in the color Don't Stop. 
Oh, I forgot to contour my nose. The brush I like to use is the Luxie Precision Angled Contour, and I like to use the color Hula Light. It's not a, a dramatic contour. I'm just adding a little bit of shadows to the sides of my nose bridge. I'm gonna be using this MAC Cosmetics Oh Darling Skinnish, Skinnish? Skin Finish. You really don't need too much of this product. Tap, I like to tap a bit onto my nose bridge right here and also the tip of my nose. Here comes a real transformation. I, I went on Yelp and I looked up like best wig shops. Really creative, right? I think this looks like a Kim K wig, but this is the final look. What do you think this girl's name is? And leave a comment below and let me know. And once again, I wanna thank this brand for working with me and sponsoring this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.